Dirty Pop. Yo. BT. Sick and tired of warning everyone we talk about. What's the deal with these people? There's no need to freak out. The thing you got to realize is just joking in the end. We got the gift of craziness and say things that offend. These. These. These wake up. Oh, oh, my bad. I, I was just dreaming. Can we start the show now? <laughs> you and your crazy pop star dreams. I want to be a pop star one day. I know you do. <laughs> I don't know when. <laughs> he wants to be the next JT. Yeah. All right. Welcome to the Nobody Cares Show. My name is Intelligent and as always, I have my good friends around me. O Squared running the show. What's up? JJ Diesel. What's going on? And now, there's somebody new on camera that they haven't seen before, but for those who have been with us since season one, mm-hmm. you're about to hear a very, very familiar voice. I'm gonna go ahead and let him introduce himself. Oh, you guys don't have it still? Yeah, we have it, but oh, we, we have don't. it, but come on. <laughs> yeah. he, he wa- <laughs> we want the live one. Was this wrestling? <laughs> he wants a little entrance <laughs> thing? You want the entrance thing? <laughs> I got it, if you want it. No, no, just, we just wanted you to do it live. Right. <laughs> That's that, right, folks. We're archived. There's no way they, don't, they haven't heard that. <laughs> yeah. Special guest, Little Joe, is in the house. You're seeing him for the first time. In a long time. In a long time. In a long time. But yeah. visually, they've never actually they've seen ever, They've never actually visually I seen him. I can't confirm that for sure. I, I think don't think they, they have. have. Uh, Maybe live, the Ustream. Yeah, Ustream. Yeah, Ustream. It's Ustream. possible. It's possible. We all it's, stream. That's why I say it's possible. For, it's we possible. stream. Yeah. All right. So uh, here at the Nobody Cares Show, we are a... Weekly episodic show every Friday at 8 o'clock. Episodic. That was cool. Episodic. Yes. And uh, basically what we do is we listen to independent music from all around the world, and uh, we critique it according to the average uh, consumer. Basic, you know, basic knowledge of someone who listens to the radio. That's about it. That's an average consumer. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks. Thanks, Wes. And uh, (laughs) then we rate it. We have our own radio system. Uh, Never listen to it again on purpose. Um, Download it illegally. Or oh uh, LimeWire it. How about radio? Oh, radio. Never listen to it again it's on right purpose. It's right there. <laughs> or there. Never listen to it again on purpose. Let it play on the radio without changing the station. LimeWire download illegally. Um, buy the single off of iTunes and our best rating by the album. You can check us out on our website, nobodycareshow.com. <laughs> It's only been three years. I still <laughs> <laughs> have you been missing the show? Hey, I'm, yeah. I'm who's, not, been, who's been gone? I have a question. Who's been I, gone? I, I, I let you guys know when we started that I'm not feeling 100% at the moment, so I apologize. Oh, um, okay. okay. Nobodycareshow.com. Also, you can uh, hit us up at our uh, email, nobodycareshow at gmail.com, and you can hit us up on our hotlines, Diesel. 909-907-HEAT, 909-907-4328. Call, leave a message, or text also, uh, check us out on all our uh, media sites, Facebook, Twitter, um, of course, YouTube. Is our most camp, important. my face, all of them. Just fucking do it. Here's the thing. TV. Uh, when you guys call the, the heat Tumblr. line, leave a message Tumblr. because I think you guys are expecting something different than what you're getting when you guys call the heat line. Yeah. Um, we're probably not going to answer. We probably don't want to talk to you guys. <laughs> no, it's not that. It says we got jobs, so we're not by the phone all the or time. Or we're too busy for you guys. <laughs> I've answered the phone a couple of times. Yeah. yeah, a few times. Yeah. It's very rare, but please leave a message. Leave a message. You know what I mean? Like, and yeah, it's, it's your shout outs. Like, you don't even have to yeah. call in for us. You're like, hey, listen to my shit. Exactly. You can shout <laughs> your own self out and we'll play it. Yeah. Like, it's not Here's a big the thing. Deal. And if you want to talk shit on us, we'll play that too. We'll, yeah. we'll actually hear your audio talking shit on us. You know, yeah. whatever. We don't care. We don't care. Just leave yeah. a message. Please. Yeah, don't be stupid. I swear, these, the people that are calling are stupid. Mm-hmm. Most of them are. Really? Yeah, the people that aren't calling you guys are okay. Just please call. Well, actually, you're, kind of, you're stupid too because you're not calling. Yeah. So <laughs> fuck you guys too. <laughs> Damn, just fuck everybody. Yes. Except Damn. for the people and that Make call. sure watch yeah. us on YouTube. Yes. YouTube. Subscribe, yeah. please. Thank you. Yeah, we had some Thank today. Actually, I was trying to remember what's the stuff that came up, and I can't remember. So, sucks to be you guys. Yeah, sorry. Cool. Yeah, because I was trying to remember all the new Twitter followers, and I can't remember. So, all right. Well, that's all that are following got. us. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Actually, yes, thank you. Well, so you're saying that they joined one of our Twitter followers, Britney Spears? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I already forgot. <laughs> She's a Twitter. Follow. She follows she us. Is. She follows, she follows us. us. So is a uh, Jimmy World. Yeah. Sorry guys, we don't follow you, but yeah. thank you for following us. <laughs> We're probably not gonna <laughs> follow you guys. <laughs> hey, They're so, not independent yeah. artists. But it doesn't t- really fit. That really doesn't have anything to do with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. I could use them. I just gotta be the day, honest. Man. 
Thank you, though. Thank you. Uh, yes. Thank you. All right. Well, Hope let's go ahead it. and let's go ahead and move on and get on to the show. Uh, oh, what do you got for us? All right. First artist of the day goes by the name Barlow Saints, nice. and they do alternative acoustic folk rock out of Stamford, Connecticut. I, I have to say the artists are getting smarter. They're giving us pictures where we really can't make out what they look like, so we can't comment on it. That's that's smart. <laughs> no, it's just that it's not rap. It's rap that does that. Rap does that. That's the thing. Hip hop is the one we we make, they give reggae us. does that too. Ginger it's, Vitus didn't do that. He's not hip hop. Well, the older ones we, it's weird because when we get old people are dumb. <laughs> we literally, we literally want old people because yeah. because that's when we get to make fun. They're of them. hilarious. Yeah. Old people yes. are hilarious. I don't know why. Ooh. It's just we always go and we we already know they're not going for career. That's why. Right. But it's just funny to see them do their thing. I, I don't know. I enjoy yeah. every old person we had here. We love them yes. to death. For after certain. the show, yes, I do love you. <laughs> you uh, we're the own. same age. I don't know if you know that. No. Shouts out to Jeanette Parsadoni. <laughs> yeah, same age, same age, same age. Gil. Exactly. That Anyways, Barlow Saints. All right, Barlow Saints. Uh, these guys deliver the perfect blend of alternative funk and folk for uh, winter night uh, with these sounds. <laughs> I don't know. I should have did something over here. And that's a uh, subtle. Mix between Kurt Cobain and John Mayer, what? the VT influence. Is that possible? Uh, I don't know. That's a good. Mm. Oh, that's a weird blend. Uh, alternative folk rock group always has acoustic in tow and something up their sleeves. And this is the Barlow Saints with their song "Live." Sitting at my desk one day I don't know what it is I'm doing here I'd say Staring at my screen Not knowing where I'm at Or what I'd like to be Was sitting across the door But I was waiting for it To open with a chance I Close not open, all I gotta do is take the handle and see what's waiting for me. I wanna live, live like there's no tomorrow. I wanna live, live life without a sorrow. I wanna live, live twice so not to borrow. I wanna live. Living life without you, no, 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 no Went around to see before me what will come a knocking at my door You're leaving too, I think that this has happened to me too many times before. All right, that was the Barlow Saints with their song live. And if you want to contact them, you can reach them on their Twitter, B T O R. It's on our website. I don't know. It's Bethorith. Bethrit. Sound like a gay guy. Yeah. Bethorith. Bethrit. Bethorith. Bethorith. Something like that. And then you, they got a Facebook, facebook.com. Be pages. the Rit. Be the Rit. Be the Rit. Yeah. It'll be on our website. And yeah. Facebook is the Google Gaps. Uh, don't want to give all those numbers. And you yeah. can also find them on barlowsates.com. And you can also find them on their YouTube page, youtube.com slash be, be the Rit. I guess the same. Not all right. Bad. Let's do it. All right. Jekyll, let's start it off. Okay, uh, I'm having a little trouble talking right now. Um, yeah, something uh, in his throat. Yeah. Or once? I mean. No. <laughs> um, okay. That's gross. I kind of hear your subtle mix. You guys played like 
minor chords that sounded like chords that Nirvana would play, but then you did it in a John Mayer style. Cool. All I have no. Here. Hey, what's up, man? I have no. Hear me? <laughs> <laughs> I have no problems with the music portion of it. I thought the guitar playing was fine. I thought that was well mixed. Everything. Um, my problem lies in your vocals. Your vocals. Um, it didn't sound very good. You're, what are you talking not, uh, about? You're, you're not the <laughs> the greatest singer, oh, and and that's noticeable. And uh, I think because of that, I I I wasn't able to follow the song and enjoy it. That's it. Oh man! All right, Diesel. Fair enough. Um, yeah. Uh oh. Go ahead. Open it up. Open her up. Oh man, that's all. That's all. That's why you don't like it. Yeah. Walking out. Wow, he hates it so much. He's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm going to go poop my pants over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he really is pooping, guys. So, <laughs> so he has no. I think he's a cat. He's going to start pooping on the lawn or something. <laughs> <laughs> on the dirt. He's going to start covering it up with his little feet. <laughs> <laughs> start digging it up. He's a little kitty cat. <laughs> <laughs> and tell a cat. Meow, I'm a rabbit cat. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, that. Uh, that's a perfect segue. What, um, what do you call a CD for cats? Uh, I don't know. Meow mix. <laughs> mm, damn it! Yeah, that's oh. a good one. Okay, sorry, Barlow Saint. Um, I like your name. We'll say that a lot. Uh, yeah, I actually uh, what Intel said. I I agree with. I I I heard uh, as far as uh, the musicianship goes. I heard a little uh, Kurt Cobain or not Kurt. I guess uh, you know. Uh, Nirvana-ish. Mm-hmm. Nirvana-ish. I definitely, I definitely hear what you're talking about musically. Uh, real quick, so I don't repeat what he says. Um, you're pretty much just fake singing. <laughs> you're just using the tone of your voice, really, mm-hmm. to carry you, not your actual talent. As far as singing goes, you're using your God-given ab- ability, not that you're a really good singer. You're not awful, mm-hmm. but you're re- you're really you're really not a good singer. I didn't think anyway. Um, the be- I although I didn't hate it as much as as it started the song started to progress I I disliked it less, but huh. I didn't actually like wasn't like loving it, but um I liked it as like, I wanna live I didn't like that was alright I didn't mind that I liked it better than the rest but yeah um anyway and then it sound it sounded like you were nervous and your voice was like. I don't, I don't know. Like when you I were, know what you mean. You know what I mean? When you were trying to sing, it sounded like you were kind of nervous when you were doing it. <laughs> yeah, I fucking recorded that shit like kind of yeah, so myself y- for the y- next coming stuff coming up. Don't be nervous. But yeah, pretty much your vocal tone is what is carrying you. And honestly, I just don't feel like it can carry you too, too far. And that's where I'm at. All right. As for myself, uh, yeah, I definitely like the, uh, the beat, the music, uh, just like these guys did. Um, I think it's something that it'll grow on you when you hear it over again. But I think the the voice is very distinct. Distinct that it's. I don't know. Maybe if you record again, and we hear it again, maybe it'd be better. Ho- hopefully, vocal lessons never hurt anybody. And that, that's true. But I, I did like the change up in you know in the song. I thought that was, that was pretty like good. That's what that's what I enjoyed the most part of the song. But uh, yeah, just that's all I got for you right now. Oh, um, yeah, I'm definitely with you guys. It, I don't, for me, his voice wasn't the problem. I I agree with these that he was. I don't think he was giving it all he, what he's got, and he was yeah. just doing it like I would, half yeah. assing it. Scared because you're nervous. You know? Yeah, because I mm-hmm. would be nervous. Uh, yeah, I would be nervous enough. But that's all right. Um, the <laughs> he's gonna go poop again. <laughs> And um, I thought I thought everybody played well, and it did for me. Sounded like the sound of the '90s. Yeah, like I not only Nirvana. I heard like a couple other ones uh-huh. that I can't remember their names, but but it just brought you back to it, the time yeah, of the '90s. The time of the '90s, right. you know, the the grunge, right. the grunge stuff, and mm-hmm. all those guys from them. But uh, I thought the lyrics were were decent. I didn't think they were bad at all. I thought everybody played very well, but for me, just this song wasn't for me. Yeah. Like it was for me, it was just too slow. I couldn't really get into it, kind of thing. But maybe I, I'm not feeling it right now. Maybe like Little Joe says, maybe hearing it twice, then I can pick up something else. But mm-hmm. this is the first time we listened to it, so like I just wasn't feeling it. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, 
kind of depressed me a little bit actually i'm gonna lie really yeah, yeah. what would you uh rate it as i would i would listen to it on the radio all right, all right. yeah i think uh actually i would uh still on the way i don't know why just, really? th- just something about the music it, it pulled me in it's yeah cool. so the vocals the, the, the vo- didn't really do much for you the vocals you know they're okay but i think yeah. the music is well enough to just listen over again and maybe it'll grow on you that's See, for me for, for me i wouldn't get something because i wanted to grow on me i'd get it because it did grow on me and this didn't grow this didn't yeah. grow on me after like one. You, you you always said like would you go out and go get it yeah i wouldn't go out of my way to go yeah get and this. i would like, i wouldn't just, go out there's just no way it. But if it was um, playing, I'll listen to it. I, I think I'm kind like of. It wasn't that I bad. think I'm kind of there only because the music. I thought the musicianship was good, and and maybe because that's that was our time, the '90s. Yeah, that was our so time. I think if it wasn't, I probably would never listen to this again. Hmm. But you know what? I think I'll uh, I'll say Red Joe, man. Red Joe. Red Joe. How about uh, Jekyll? What do you think he would be? Mm. Uh, um, I don't know, but I'm black <laughs> inside, so I'll say this. I don't know. <laughs> 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 he, he Albert. Listen, yeah, he probably listened to the radio. Yeah. Because yeah. he, he's the one that kind of brought it down. Right yeah. Away, so. yeah. So all of it be overall listen to radio. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely right. That's what you get. That's what radio. you get. Uh, yes. All right. Now, uh, someone. No. I, mean, I have nothing for you, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's the worst intro <laughs> ever. I just, like, I, I'm all like, I'm all like, shit, I got to do this. And I'm uh, like, uh, and I just uh, went boom, and I'm like blanked out. Oh, well, because your intel was here. Yeah, because intel was here, so I'm all like, okay, I don't have to think of something witty. And I'm all like, and I was going to repeat something I said before. Yeah. Something that we wouldn't, you know. No. Listen, we That's would okay. listen on radio. Well, some of them we would actually go out and go look for, because I have. Yeah, yeah. And it's JJ Diesel and his jibber jabber. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. It happens. <laughs> You right? <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> yeah, he's he's either pooping or he's throwing away, crumbling up his underwear. <laughs> Did he shit his pants? <laughs> Trust me. I know all the moves of people that shit their pants. <laughs> Take it from me and Bob. We know what what yeah. people do. He said he didn't want to enter this competition. No, oh, man. You can, it's not that far, It's not that bad. I mean, you can catch up fast. Well, if you had the week like I did, <laughs> <laughs> pulled away. <laughs> oh, stomach flu is going to bite you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to say this. Um, obviously, everybody... Uh, knows well, i'm sure they know that uh me and coco are gonna have another baby obviously um I very don't i don't know if they know very, maybe maybe not yeah. maybe not the thing is is when you're a celebrity you like to keep low profile <laughs> yeah <laughs> well paparazzo's yeah. out there yeah <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why that's a funny word i just wanted to say that <laughs> but anyway um a couple of things uh i don't know if you know this I, i'm sure little joe knows this um he has a baby as well so yeah. i'm pretty sure he knows this they they they're offering actually you probably know this you're on the technical and yeah, you know yeah. pictures and all that stuff they offer like 3D ultrasound pictures oh yeah 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 I seen them and have you seen like the uh, like the samples um they should show that to scare people out of having babies because that is creepy I don't know have you seen like I, they had a 3D, little poster I seen the pictures the the 3D ones on Facebook they're disgusting. Yeah. They creep. Well, that's probably one the of the reasons shit out of me. That's one of the reasons probably I deleted them. Dude, I can't. I was like, and what? You want me to pay for that? I was well, like, I was. It's not free. No. Is the regular ultrasound free? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm like, so let's see. Get a a, a creepy alien looking at me, because like it's like if they showed it. Yeah, yeah. Or, that, or that's an ugly baby. I just thought of this. Yeah. Or that's a really ugly baby. Maybe the baby's just not a Gerber baby. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Girls so, can get some know, ugly babies. Yeah, that's true. We need Agent P over there showing him who the boss is. He'll 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 let him know what's up. Yeah. If not, he'll just punch him in the nuts. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. and then uh, this other thing is uh, we've been trying to like, you know, we're obviously we're we're keeping it a secret because that's what Coco wants to do. So we said, hey, you know, we knew what the first one was. That's what she wants. She's having it. So you know, I think she has an opinion. <laughs> so. You guys are not keeping a secret. You just don't know. Yeah. The doctor's keeping a secret. Yeah. 
Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't want to know. Yeah. She told me I can I can know if I want, but I'm like, that's a long secret to keep. I don't want to slip up and, you know, oh, start looking at boy stuff or start looking at girl yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's true. So I'm like, if she's not going to know, then I'm not going to know. So it's going to be a surprise when, you know, it comes out of her vaginal canal, if you will. So, but then we're like, well, what do we do? I don't want to just buy all yellow stuff. You know what I mean? All yellow and white stuff. Yeah. So then she heard something that, oh, they said that someone, sh- someone said that you should buy three, three outfits that you really like of boy clothes, three outfits of girl clothes. Yeah. And then whichever, just take the other ones back. I have a better idea. I said, why don't we just keep buying boy clothes and raise it like it's a boy? <laughs> so we either raise a little boy or a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? What did she say? I don't think she's with that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she, she's quite on board with that idea yet. No? No. Because I'm like, we have, uh, you know, Agent P's little collared shirts, his little yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's not for the other team yeah so why don't we i'm pretty sure so i'm trying to get her so we just keep buying boy clothes no matter what Mm -hmm. so we'll see i don't think it's gonna go so we'll see what happens and then uh the other day uh i said because i say this because i don't want to say the whole thing i go son of a son of a please let him finish right son of a and i hear a bitch and i was like (laughs) oh Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> but he said like this, bitch, like kind of whisper, but a loud whisper, <laughs> like. And I was like, so then I was like, no, you can't say that. So then I heard him that same day, by himself, son of a bitch, and I was like, all oh, son of a bitch, damn it, like son of a bitch. I think he got that from me. Really, from you? There's a chance. <laughs> Um, and then he's doing this now. This is pretty. <laughs> well, I you know we taught him his parts of his body, of course. You know, yeah, arms, yeah, yeah, yeah. hands, eyes, all that stuff. So he knows what his junk is. You know what I mean? But every day I'm not like junk, 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 junk. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that all day, every day. But if you ask him, you know where's your junk? Grabs his business. He knows what it is. I think you need that one early on. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because well, I kn- I remember you goofing around. Yeah. So, but I don't like you know. It's, he he points to his like eyes and nose way more often than his wiener. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Which is probably good. So Coco was telling me that if she doesn't put on his diaper like quite right, like he walks around and fiddles with his business. He's all, man, I'm a junk. Oh, my junk. And she says like, that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, man. Does he ever say, mom, my junk? She just said he's like, oh my junk. Like she, like she said, like he walks with like, like it's, you know, like all, he lifts up a little leg. Yeah. Oh my junk. Like he's like readjusting his business, you know. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh. So, I think we're in trouble. <laughs> Already starting to get in trouble. Don't show, don't show him purple rings. Oh no way. He get a little boner off that mm-hmm. one. That is a great Let's movie. Stop that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a sexy movie. How, wait, wait. First of all, how old will he? I know he's gonna watch. It. I think he's not. Yeah. How old? He's <laughs> how old? Here comes Professor Poopy Pants. <laughs> <laughs> you feel all right? Wow. Your breast still smells the same though. That's what's weird. <laughs> <laughs> can we can we do the show with no camera? Cause I look. Please. This is incredible. You look like a boxer. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to finish the show. You got to do it with no visual. That's we'll cool. put a we'll put a oh. black blur <laughs> on your on your eye. Put a blur. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I put a blur. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no. no add cool. little boxing gloves. To his <laughs> <laughs> when he's talking, can you do that? <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. We'll, we'll do that. We'll do That's that. That's awesome. But, but I'm a, I'm a trooper. I'm a trooper. I think I think it might have been uh, you ate the, something. I think bad. it was the peanut butter cookies from uh, from Seven Eleven that did it, but it made me throw up lunch and dinner and everything else. So <laughs> everything came up. You don't leave a mess, did you? No, I cleaned everything Good. up. Everything's Good. nice and legit in there, dude. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I, le- I used a little bit of your listerine. That's all right. Okay, cool. Did you put your stink ass mouth on there? No, oh, of okay. course not, dude. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Come on, man. Okay, because that would be disgusting. And you know the sink doesn't work in the first bathroom, right? I, I always go to the one in the back, oh, okay, by the back good, door. Okay, good, good, perfect. I, yeah. Perfection. 
<laughs> you did it exquisitely. <laughs> well, thank you. I feel wonderful now. <laughs> you look wonderful now. Oh, thank Not you. really, but... A wonderful thank prize you. fighter. <laughs> <laughs> so this last uh, thing I'm is, gonna get a head with just <laughs> all tore Dude, up I face. I feel like so much pressure just like right. <laughs> you in look like still. you don't feel good. <laughs> like no, and like I feel I feel great now because I got out of my yeah, system. Yeah, usually but, do. But when when I throw up for some reason, all the pressure comes up in this part of my head, and it like compresses it. Like it feels crazy. Yeah, it looks. I've never seen you look like that before. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you that like the second after you throw up. <laughs> yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's creepy a little. Mm-hmm. I'm used to be you glowing and mm-hmm. being so wonderful. It's all good. So, um, this last thing when I was uh, driving far away, I saw this uh, saw the street sign or uh, I guess a road, and I thought it was funny. This is it was spelled P P A N O C H E road. Panoche? Yeah. <laughs> I swear. Panoche Road. Should I go down here? <laughs> yep. Yes. Is that cheating? What if I stay in my car? <laughs> I was all, man, I went through the biggest Panoche I ever went in. <laughs> it was wild in there. <laughs> it's all stinky when you drive down the street. <laughs> uh, that's gross. Ew. Okay. Well, that's it. <laughs> If you're going to drive down that road, I suggest you do it on a summer's eve. Uh, uh, that was a good one. I'm not going to lie. That was a good yes, one. Yes. Man. And and wear a rubber beanie. <laughs> well, thank you, Diesel, for your jibber. Jabber. I'm going to put King Hippo's head on him. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> you guys are messed up. That would be oh, incredible. Oh, and, and, and Barlow Saints, my vote was uh, never listen to you again on purpose. Oh, we rated you up, buddy. Yeah. You said radio? Yeah. It didn't, change, it didn't change about. It didn't change Or it didn't change all. Yeah, the song made me sick. No, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. It was like, just the voice. I couldn't. I couldn't. St- I couldn't handle the voice. Do you yeah. need the? Do you need the the cool air? Is that what you need? No, I, I should be good now. Actually, I apologize. I should have closed when I came in. I should be all good now. It's all good in the neighborhood. I just hope there's no residual effects of this. Otherwise, tomorrow I'm gonna stay in because I don't want to go out looking like a creep. <laughs> looking like well, a creep. <laughs> even more than a creep than yeah. I normally do. I more creepier say. than yes. usual. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and get into the next song. All right, next artist of the day goes by the name of Mongrel. 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 I like Mongrel. Mongrel. For some Mongrel, dude. It's Mongrel. Mongrel. Get it right. All right, Mongrel. Uh, uh, and they do. Arr. And they do rock slash punk slash metal out of Danvers, Massachusetts. Nice. Uh, nice. Balancing old school intensity and metal aggression with hard rock hooks and riffs, Mong- Mongrel is a hungry young rock band ready to take on the world. The recordings are only part of the equation, though, as Mongrel Live is an equally unforgettable experience. It's high energy, intense fun, and interactive. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm intrigued. And intrigued. and you're welcome for my bio. Oh, you wrote it? No, they wrote they wrote all of it except you know how they do. You that. edited it? I edited it a little it, bit. It, it, nice. They wrote like a uh, book or something. No, no, they wrote like the names of the like the <clears throat> the guys in the band kind Which of thing. You don't care about apparently. No, no, it's just I always say like start with that. Yeah. And then after that, it's a paragraph, and then like then you say like oh, if if you there if you, you get go. interested, then you keep reading. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So this is Mongrel it's with their right. songs, Bored to Death. <laughs>
Alright, that was Mongrel Report to Death, and if you want to contact them, you can contact them at mongrelband at yahoo.com. You can also find them on Twitter, Mongrel Band. You can also check them out on ReverbNation.com, Mongrel Band. You can also find them on their personal site, mongrelband.com. And you can also check out their YouTube, Adam Mongrel. And they also have a Facebook.com, Mongrel Band. Alright, let's do it. All right, Oak. Um, oak. <laughs> oak. Uh, nothing's changed <laughs> like you do too uh, uh, I I love the feel that you're going to uh, my biggest complaint would be probably the recording like it needs better recording mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. next after that which <laughs> would be um, it just sounded weird with the vocals I mean I don't think they I don't think they were bad okay okay question who wants to take bets guy or girl vocalist yeah, I, that's I, I could see I, people I thinking was, that. I thought it was. I know what the answer is. Oh, you actually know what the answer yeah, is? Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you though. Because because with everything we've ever heard on this show, it's like I'm it's tough to tell. It's tough to tell us a guy you. or a girl. I'm not gonna tell you either. Just make you think. It, it's tough to tell. Well, in my mind, I'm saying I already know it's a guy. So <laughs> in your mind, it's a guy. Yeah. See, because I, I was hearing possibly girl, but then I'm like, no, it could be a guy, and I couldn't tell. I was lost. I'm just assuming it's a guy. I thought it was a guy. So yeah. Yeah, well, all the new stuff is like sounding like girl stuff, but I know they're guys too, so like, mm-hmm. I I can see where you question it. Yeah, um, but for me, overall, I thought I thought it was decent. You guys played well together. Uh, I really liked the guitar solo. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but overall, I thought it was just like that's all right. It's good. Like nothing for me to it's like gonna, go it's not superstar. Gonna, it's not gonna make you since this isn't our number one choice of music. Probably it's not gonna make us like holy moly, like get on the rock bandwagon. Well, for me, I am more towards rock, but yeah, um, always have been. Yeah, but this is not like you said. It's not the one like oh, I gotta go get holy this dude. Yeah, yeah, oh. that's where I'm at. All right, Jekos. All right, Mongrel. Um. I'm gonna say this, you guys. You guys are great. I'm, I'm still a page actually out of Little Joe's book and say mm-hmm. you guys are a great bar band. Yeah, <laughs> like well, definitely when, they're an excellent. <clears throat> band, when, when you're at a bar, this is the type of band that that this is the that type of would, band I would want at a at bar. a bar yeah. exactly because um, the feel was so good. A biker bar. Yeah, you guys definitely you guys definitely know. have Whatever. the intensity that you described with the old school punk type Ooh. feel. Yeah, I, I get that. Yeah. I see that. Um, if you're trying to get to that next level, there's a few things you need to do. First of all, you definitely need to tighten up your sound. Everybody's got to be a little bit more in sync. It got sloppy at times, and some people were kind of a little off beat with others. Um, your drummer's not bad, but I'm going to say this. Your drummer seems to be limited. Hmm. He can't seem to do very much. I wanted to hear the drummer Ooh. go off more and and carry the song a little more, give it that I extra see. drive. I can see that. Maybe but, that's, um, that's a good fix. But, um, you know, he kept to the same pattern and same feel throughout the entire song. Yes. Nothing ever changed with the drummer. So I'm not sure if if that's just how you guys wanted to play this song. Mm-hmm. But to maybe, me, like maybe. instantly it sounded like, okay, the drummer's kind of limited. He can keep the yeah. backbeat. He can keep the song going, but he can't give I, us I'll that. I'll agree with you. If, he, if, it, if it was a little bit driving with the drummer, oh, yeah. it would have been better. Oh, heck yeah. yeah. Well, that's 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 yeah, how sure. it is with that's how it is with all rock. Yeah. When you have a great drummer, you instantly have a great backbone to the band because really the drummer is what drives yeah. the band. Why do you think um, <clears throat> what's, what's the name? Animal? Animal, yeah. yeah, Animal. Animal from Slipknot is the best. He's amazing. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> Animal from the Muppets is amazing. No, I'm joking. But no, I was going to say, um, you know, Travis Barker. That's why. I know you were going there. Yeah. But that's what reminded me of Animal because I saw on TMZ, it was like they had a competition. 
mm-hmm. like on stage or something between and, him and animal and they, yeah and they have a video of it and they and they, and they said who won Ooh. travis barker or animal Ooh. and i'm all like oh you know travis barker won because he's he's the business and then i i clicked it and it's actually animal one and i'm all like oh man that's awesome <laughs> bastards and then uh you know the guitarist was fine the vocalist was fine. I, I could I couldn't tell the gender, but it didn't bother I didn't, me. Yeah. It didn't bother me. Like um, I like the feel of the song. Yeah, I like the uh, the melody. I like the lyrics. Everything. It was a very fun song. You know, um, even though it was punk, it still had kind of a little poppy feel. It kind of got a little "We're the Kids in America" type feel out of it. Mm. Uh, yeah, you know. Oh, not bad. You yeah. know, but uh, but I liked it. It wasn't. It wasn't. The best song, you guys aren't the best. You're probably well, got this a song. long way to, with this song. Yeah. You, you probably got a little ways to go before you can look at any kind of deal, like as far as tightening up and getting better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, just keep. It working. was enjoyable. It was. I got enjoyable. some enjoyment out of it. Mm-hmm. How about you, Diesel? <clears throat> yeah, I think I agree with uh, Intel's critique the most, but I think he got a little more enjoyment out of it than I did. Um, <clears throat> I just thought it was okay. Um. I agree with everything except just not even just the drummer. Nobody really blew me away as far as yeah. mus- musicianship wise. Yeah. Right. To be honest, um, but I will say this: it, I, I I did like the voice. I like the voice. Um, it remind it was like almost like somewhat like like Axl Rose doing punk kind of. <laughs> you know. That. Okay. Um, not exact, but you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, had yeah, that yeah, same yeah, tone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I I thought the voice was cool. I did yeah, like the it's voice. Different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You always want to. I thought it was cool. And uh, other than that, most of it I, I agree with Intel and um, not too bad of a song. I just thought it was funny though when he said the bored to death repetition. He said it like a hundred times in a row. I was like, yeah, that's I, what you're doing to me, motherfucker. I was gonna, I was gonna <laughs> say that. I think that they did that on purpose. But, but I think they did it on purpose yeah. to repetition. Yeah, because I was gonna say yeah. that. I'm all like, well, yeah, good job. You're ripping. Yeah, you know, you're just yeah. Going. I think they did that on purpose. Yeah. yeah, but I thought they did it on purpose. So yeah, you, yeah, you almost killed me with this fucking song. <laughs> Thanks a lot, <laughs> you mongrels. Mongrels, as I would say. Mongrels. Uh, yeah, I just thought the uh, song was average. I actually haven't been listening to this type of music for a while, actually. Oh. So it's kind of like. Oh, cool. Nothing but cumbias. And Sesame Street. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I forgot. Oh. forgot. My bad. My bad. Um, yep. Yeah, so. Yo Gabba Gabba. Yo Gabba Gabba. So I thought it was going to be like stronger when it came out. I was like, mm-hmm. oh, it's cool. It's cool. Then it didn't really like. It came out tough, though. It came yeah. out like. Yeah. Boom. Yes. Came like, out, like, yeah, it's it came cool. out good. But uh, yeah, then I was trying Little to think of the, the, the song oh, yeah. I heard and uh, with Jekyll said, <laughs> Kids of America. I was like, yeah, yeah that's, that's what it was. Like, yeah. yeah. It kind of like, like got, got the feeling from it. So it wasn't like terrible, but it was just like, it's average. It's like, it's cool. It was all right. And all right. But uh, for me, I'll just probably just listen to it on the radio. How about you, O? Um, I'm not willing to pay chips yet, but I'll definitely steal it from nice. the web. Yeah. Cool. All right. Jekyll's? Yeah, I'll download it illegally. Uh, yeah. Limewire. All uh, um let it play on the radio. Nice. All right. Well, your rating is going to be download illegally. So, <laughs> legally. <laughs> download illegally for the mongrels. From the uh, mongrels. <laughs> the mongrels. All right. That's why I let so, it go. So, uh, you know, that's actually a very good rating. Um, you guys are you guys are cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully, I see you at the local tavern someday. Local I tavern. Hope so. I hope so. I hope so. All right. Here's the thing, dude. If you want to break into the industry, you're going to need your own web page. To get your own web page, you're going to have to have a host. Why not use HostGator.com? We do. They're pretty cheap. They have great deals and uh, their service is incredible. Plus, if you use our promo code, Nobody Cares Show. You're a moron. Sorry, Nobody Cares Show. That's better. You're going to save even more money. So why not use HostGator.com? Hey, this is the D's from the Nobody Cares Show. When I'm not hosting the greatest show on earth, I like to cool out and kick the actual factual at the 818 Lounge with my partners. Centered in beautiful Montrose, California, or Glendale for you less sophisticated, is a place where you can do it all. Whether you feel like hanging out at the bar, macking in the lounge, or in some delicious food, or even going upstairs to play a little pool. Yes, there is an upstairs area, and yes, it does have a bar. Both bars fully functional with all the best spirits for all the best prices. And if you're lucky, you might even catch performances by the newest, hottest up-and-coming acts. Most nights are no cover charge and locals always get in free. So join the D's at the 818 Lounge in Montrose, California. Tell Sean, the owner, I said what's up. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for Target listening to the show today again. Hell yeah. Thanks to uh, little Joe for coming back and being, hanging out with us tonight and being on the show. We appreciate yeah, it, little fun. Joe. And I appreciate you, too. And uh, yeah. make sure you go to nobodycareshow.com. Check out our site if you want to submit 
to the show, click on our submit banner, and it'll give you all the instructions that you need to submit your song to our show. Again, as always, go to nobodycaresshow at gmail.com if you want to email us. Hit us up on our heat lines. Check us out on all our media sites. Uh, we love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Check us out next Friday. We will be here. Yeah, we're trying to go back to live. Today we had a problem. Yeah. So we do appreciate the few people that. Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, we haven't said that we're doing it live, right? Like publicly, like we're just testing Let's it all. We there. Just did it. Yeah, we're just doing it to be on there, and some people actually tuned in, so yeah. that's pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Um, we love shouts you. out to the big hop. Oh yeah, one it was his one year mark today, yeah, right? And he didn't show up because he nice. got replaced. <laughs> <laughs> Suck one. Uh, oh man. Hey, shouts out to uh, Smoke and Ice Crew. They're gonna be performing tomorrow. So, uh, congrats to them. Congratulations. Shouts out to everybody. Yeah, oh, Fed. Texas. Hope she's doing good. Yeah. Yeah. Texas T Bag. Audio. Oh, we should have her go visit. I already thought I was gonna tell you, but I didn't want to say it on. Me. We need her to go visit him and do like an in-house interview, and she can tell us and report to us not only on his demeanor, but what his place looks like and everything, and where the fuck that bird is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know where the bird's at. All right, we are out. Peace. Peace.